Hello, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. Welcome to my Alberta Urban Garden. Today we're going to talk about what to do with compost. Now one of the limitations here in the Alberta Urban Garden is we don't have a lot of space, so I want to maximize the amount of production I get. So I'm going to talk to you about a couple of tips that I have and how I've been handling uh, unmatured compost and matured compost so that you continue to get production, you continue to use compost because that's a great thing to do but you're not losing a bunch of space to a, a mound that, that is just unproductive in a small space. So this is my squash bed. This is last year's summer compost and right here you can see what I use for compost. It's just a simple um, black tower composter and what I do is I throw all my kitchen scraps in here um, no meat or dairy products, but I throw the rest of the kitchen scraps in here. And then what I also do is uh, every third lawn mow, I throw a bag of, of grass clippings in here and a little bit of, of soil. You know, when, when I'm emptying a pot or something or I've got a little extra soil, I toss it in there. That has the microbes that you really want to kind of get that, that uh, composting process underway. Now I have the squash back here. This is last summer's compost. Um, and the reason why I put the squash here is it wasn't completely decomposed when I when I uh, turned it this this spring. So I figured, hey, toss some squash on there. Squash are amazing uh, plants to put on to um, put onto compost because they'll help really break that down very quickly. And you get some production out of this space. I mean, these things will take over. They'll cover the pile to begin with. They'll take over and they'll actually produce fairly nicely out of just this compost bed. And particularly in this back corner, this was a this was really a lost space to me. I, I couldn't get uh, a lot of things to grow back here. But I mean, squash, they are stubborn and they'll pretty well grow anywhere. I mean, here in Alberta, we can get really good squash production uh, for most squash. Some of the longer pumpkin varieties, um, although they'll produce pumpkins, they won't get as big. Last year we did a 32 pound white pumpkin. Um, but genetically it should have been 90 to 120 pounds, but you know, that being said, we'll, uh, we'll leave that for another day. Uh, back here we also have the volunteer tomato and, and I'm very interested to see how this tomato does because it's sitting on uh, partially broken down compost. And I turned this in the fall and I turned this in the spring. That was the only thing I did to this bed. And then what I did is I covered it and we'll talk about a little bit more on how we covered it with the raw compost on the zucchini here. Um, you see right here, these are some, uh, some potatoes coming out of, out of the, the compost bin. They've actually kind of worked their way out. I'm not sure if they'll live because I just turned this bin yesterday, but you know what? For, their, for the amount of, uh, of effort they require, I'm just going to let them go. And then they'll turn into more compost. I'm likely not going to harvest these because they're growing in fresh compost and that's really not my thing, but hey growing a little bit more compost and helping the rest of that compost break down and you see there's volunteer potatoes coming out of basically every air crack in here. So we'll get a close up here on the squash. So as you've seen in the garden updates, this is um, an acorn squash and you can see, I mean it's sitting on unfinished compost and it's still producing fruit and doing quite well. We did do the cardboard mulch on this and uh, the weeds are coming up through the hole where the neck is, but that's okay. You can see the volunteer tomato here. So this one is my butternut squash, and I didn't do the weeding, uh, the, the cardboard mulch around it. Um, there are two plants in here. One is heading this way, one is heading this way. The one heading this way, I'm going to run towards those trellis that I've shown you before. Um, but as you can see, there's just a ton of weeds in here, and I don't think there's any actual production yet. But I gotta get in here and just kinda rip that down, make sure they're not competing for nutrients. This is my zucchini. This is on the unmatured winter compost. Uh, so what I did in the spring is uh, I took that black cone off in the top left there behind the little dwarf guy, and it was frozen solid compost popsicle. So I put a tarp on it and let it melt in peace. Once it was done melting, I picked it up, I mixed in some already active compost, and I put about three to four centimeters of soil and then a layer of grass on top and plunked the zucchini in there. They're doing quite well. I, uh, I got a zucchini the other day that was about two feet long. Not very good, but that, uh, that goes to, to show you that you need to pick your zucchini regularly. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, 
please feel free to subscribe. There should be a button below here. Or join us on Facebook at the URL below in the comment section. Have a great day and keep on growing.